Kwasa radio station, community radio, the dear radio Ada and Crofobi Abo Erum, Aqua Cosses and Yamanas and Kitwakra. Now and Crofoma Koyano and Yasabi Afianga Fianga boys, a Yametro Pa, Metro Mumetro, a Momu Peja that you said Bemme Bows, Bemeni, was seen on a Betty also, while Yabama was waiting for Bresia Manu, I want to avoid a radio station one more. Never more Aquayano and Yamamo was sent what year, and Yas and Kitwakra. Now and Lucas and Yamuno and a radio me for Nibi, Eddie to Jachim say, and I will be an eye for what I done in the Potamo, Eddie Batu Munu say, and Swamu Aka, a dear Fa or Daniel, Macaulay, who know Yamagano, or Munai, Esansa and Samuel and Sambia and Yet, and almost say, Yeah, yeah, Jumadia Swamu. It is so be here, Juma was to Chino, Nasa, Yemabi, Awaya, Nibia, and Koya, Yen Timinkana, Yabakan, and Yasa, and Fata, and Oms Yamu Kokomunya, Yamu Yamunya, and Penya Palinia, and Pan, and Ray Yam, Machi, and what I will go for your course already at our more, Apacos, and Yama and Yasa, and Kitwakra. Now, I know, and I branch about one, one only day a year at Junto, Colley, or no, your Germania, and Senior Brantiano, and one was like a kind of one and agent getting one, or Madame Zia, my pine, and once the Oman Quasi radio station or Zia, my pine, or who wanted to baby book when it radio station or see you all, or who put when it a program war, or who comes as a sea shabby be a friend Noah, where I present her, or Mamma Noah, no way, no way, no way. I mean, I can't remember Christo Yesu. It's really very fun. I said, no, you're ready to say, Nejuma. And I'm still number one who has any action. No, I'm still no one. I'm Nejuma. No, I'm Nejuma. I'm not going to be a one. So we still don't know. We 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 don't then we can see about SC. I just said 2022, dear. Violence and wow. I don't want peace. I want problems, always. <laughs> yeah. So, um, if you don't get what, uh, um, the lady said, um, uh, all she's saying is that, uh, some uh, ten armed uh, macho men, well built men, went to uh, Radio Ada, which is uh, in uh, Greater Farrogen Ada area, to vandalize and uh, attack radio presenters and vandalize um, the radio station, take them into hostage and all. And uh, the reason for that was. Um, Okay, sorry, prior to that, um, um, the radio management claimed that, uh, these, uh, uh, the chiefs in the town, uh, were, I mean, came to the radio station to warn them to stop talking about, uh, electrochem. And if you don't know electrochem, electrochem, I don't know whether it's an initiative by a Mangan group of company. And Mangan group of company is by, uh, Mr. Daniel, I don't know, Macaulay. And, uh, yeah, if you don't know who he is, um, this is who he is. There is no other continent, I can tell you now, that is more lucrative and more upcoming. And looking at the group in Northern Africa. My name is Daniel McCauley. I'm the group chairman of the Mandan Group. Tell us about your journey. How did you get to this point? I've been in logistics for about 30 years. After that, I went into real estate, into private security, to hydro. We are one of the biggest hydro companies in the West Africa sub-region, and to salt mining. You grew up in Ghana, and uh, you went up through the ranks of business in Ghana. How did that influence your decision making? Growing up in Ghana, I think, built me and built, made me proper to be able to understand the terrain. And logistics, in Africa, had not even arrived. Or so the time I started, and it's still green. So, so yeah. According to Chris F and Daryl, um, according to Radio Ada, and uh, yeah, the people of Radio Ada, um, they claim that uh, yeah, they were you know criticizing his uh, new initiative, which is the electro camp. Um, it has to do with uh, salt mining, and we all know Ada for. Yeah, salt. So yeah, it has to do with salt mine, and it looks like a lot of people also have um, um, question our problems and express their disappointment with the government for um, virtually giving Magdan monopoly in this sector. And uh, I mean, some people have come out um, to argue on behalf of him that uh, he would uh, build infrastructure and he, if um, given that power he will build infrastructure and uh, you know um, um, you know, uh, earn the country a lot more through salt mining and all that and uh, the indigenous or 
I mean, the residents of the place also have their own mind, saying that if he monopolizes it, uh, they won't get jobs and all that. I mean, some people claim it's political because um, it looks like uh, Mr. Daniel has uh, some affiliation with the uh, ruling government and uh, the opposition, you know, people in that area also have, you know, their own minds and, uh, I mean, it's political and honestly, I don't want to be doing politics because, uh, <laughs> it's more to be, it's more like, uh, choosing between Satan and Lucifer. <laughs> I don't want to go there. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just by the way. So yeah, um, yeah, that is actually the length and breadth of the issue. And uh, yeah, um, Joy News also interviewed the reporter that was attacked. And uh, let's take, um, let's watch this video. Nah, I'll be back with the commentary. Oh, I mean, I was. Oh. <laughs> 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 well, for now, uh, I'm not feeling fine. Uh, it seems I carry a heavy load on my head due to the beatings they gave me yesterday. Uh, I don't know, but I'm not feeling fine. Uh, both physically and then everything, I'm not feeling fine. Uh, what they did to me yesterday, I decided to quit this job. Yes, I decided to quit this job. But we'll see uh, uh, the steps to take next. Okay, um, so let's let's take it back. At which point of the program did these men unidentified men uh, are actually breaking? Around 11:30 a.m. Okay. Uh, I was hosting the program a segment, and so the people calling in and then share their views concerning the program going on. Suddenly, I saw some seven, eight young birds men coming in. So you see, this is a community radio, which is open to community people. Everybody, anybody can come here at any given time with his or her businesses. So I thought they were one of uh, our clients. But when they ended about a minute, I heard the front desk lady uh, shouting. So I thought it's normal this thing that they were doing. Then about 30 seconds, I heard them shouting, where is Noah, where is Noah, where is Noah? Uh, then I realized something is going to happen. So I wake up to close the door. And I close the door and I lock it. Before I came back to my seat, I heard a knock on the door. Open this door, open the door, who's in there? And the one was shouting, break the door. Use your leg, break the door, use your leg, break the door. Before I was sit, the door was broke and they entered. Without asking me anything, without telling me anything, they started the beating. And they beat me, dragged me from the studio to the corridor. They asked me to lie down. In fact, they gave me a beating, severely. They beat me badly. That's what happened yesterday. Okay, you had earlier said that, um, I mean, for the program you were hosting at the time, um, they didn't really concern anything, or they didn't have anything to do with uh, electric or song, or as it were. So, uh, it would be quite strange for anyone to link the attacks to what might be discussed on air. Uh, can you touch on that? Well, uh, it, 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 it has, the program is about marriage. A segment about marriage, so it has nothing to do with Electrochem. It has nothing to do with Electrochem and McDonald and his company. So I don't think that the reason why they were here, and I don't know, my brother, I don't know what prompted them to come here, destroy our equipment, and then beat me up. Some victims might have, um, some victims indicated that these men who assaulted you um, claimed or, or warned them to desist from talking about uh, Electrochem. In your case, they also issued a new one. Also issued a new one. No, that was general. When after beating me. When they were going, when they were leaving, that's the message they left for us before they leave. How many minutes do you think this might have lasted? About 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Were you able to identify any of them? No. They, they were on no smarts. So I no my caps. So uh, if they were buried here, I can't identify. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. This was the man who was allegedly attacked. Some people claim um, it was staged, but I mean, I still don't know. Whether it was staged or not. And as I said, things that are political, um, honestly, it's like, uh, trying to find a needle in a haystack, trying to get justice over things that are political. I don't want to even go there, but, uh, the only thing is, um, I've seen people making fun of this man because he was crying on, you know, live TV and all that. I think that, um, it's not appropriate and uh, you need to empathize with him because if it was, I mean, sorry, sympathize of an angel. So yeah, if um, you want to 
Yeah, if, I mean, sometimes you should put yourself in the shoes because, uh, you know, imagine your father crying on TV because he was attacked for trying to make ends meet to look after you. It's sad. Oh. It's sad. Anyway, um, uh, so this is a political issue and, uh, I mean, it has, I don't really want to have an opinion on this because I, it's still under investigation and we don't know the matter of of it. All I have to say is that, uh, uh, vandalism and all these things are brutal acts and if it's true, then, uh, I mean, we need to, you know, see through, see to it that, uh, things would work a safer way so that, uh, we don't get this, you know, acts of vandalism and all that. I mean, there's one Ghana, we need Ghana. And, uh, you know what? Yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm ADB, and I was my I'm out. And we say bye bye! Bonus round! And I just found out that, uh, um, there have been earlier reports by the indigenous of, uh, Songo in Ada, where the assaults are mined, claiming that, uh, Mr. McDan is using, uh, Mr. McCauley, sorry, <laughs> is using, uh, thugs, um, to, um, brutalize them. I don't know how to it is, I just saw this online, and if, uh, you have any problem or you want to probe into this issue, please, I will leave the link in the description so you, you know, do your own assessment. I am not a legend. Or I'm just, uh, I mean, reporting an allegation. I am not um, accusing anyone of anything. I'm out.